Historically, space has been a realm of governments and billion dollar corporations. In order to push humanity to thrive in space, what you really need to do is democratize it, and that is make it available to many and make it affordable. We're creating a pathway to the moon and opening that up for the world. So Astrobotic is a little bit like FedEx. So what we do is we carry packages from groups from around the world and we fly them to the surface of the moon. We call those packages payloads. So the customers for this mission are very diverse and all over the world. So there's explorers that want to go and explore the moon. There's scientists who want to actually do experiments on the moon. There's emerging nations, nations that have never landed on the surface of the moon. Early on, we'll, we'll see a good bit of marketing and sponsorship programs that, that are involved as well. There's a lot of different branding opportunities that are available on the mission. I mean, there's everything from actual naming rights to the mission or being a premier sponsor on the mission. Down to flying a product of yours, much like Bakari Sweat is doing with their beverage can. It's a time capsule. A company that made computers could sponsor the computer and be the computer on board the mission. This is an opportunity to do what all the commercials that show cars driving on the moon and uh, doing interesting things except actually doing it. There's an incredible pent-up demand for payloads to the moon in part because for 40 years, we haven't gone back. Typically, space is decades behind the curve because it just takes a long time for that technology to mature to get pushed into space. We're based here in Pittsburgh because we're next to the world's number one robotics institute, Carnegie Mellon University, who we're partnered with on this mission. In contrast to the West Coast, where there's a lot of software development, Pittsburgh is the perfect place to develop this kind of technology, and the East Coast is a perfect place to fund it. We want to go to the moon. We basically are trying to build a business model to accomplish it, to take humanity back to the moon and back into space. The mission will land at the surface of the moon, will deploy multiple rovers, and those rovers will drive out and compete for the biggest prize ever called the Google Lunar X Prize. The Google Lunar X Prize is a competition to land on the moon and then take video of 500 meters of traverse. We're competing with other commercial organizations, and in some cases, we're actually competing with other nations. So winning the X Prize would be a huge international cachet. I think once we land on the moon, that will be a complete game changer for us. Uh, I think that that will really help bring this pipeline of customers uh, that we're starting to develop now into a lot more reality. After that, a few years down the line, what we imagine is, is many regular missions to the surface of the moon. So it's like booking an airline ticket at that point. You book a spot, the flight goes, and then you have access to the surface of the moon. Astrobotic is squarely positioned for that future. Astro is the space and stars, robotics speaks for itself, and astrobotics is that vision uh, of the future. Our big objective is to convince the world that the commercial payload approach is the way to go to the moon and ultimately the way to settle it. We think that it can be done more affordably than it's ever been done before. We think that it can be done uh, more precisely than it's ever been done before. And we think that ultimately commercial is the, the beginning of a new era on the surface of the moon.